Hello, and welcome to our video series on how to use a conduit bender. This series consists of short videos that will introduce, teach, and demonstrate how to use the tool and route the conduit you bend with it. This video is an introduction to the tool, how we use it, and its anatomy. Conduit is tubing used to protect and route electrical wiring in a building or structure. There are different types of conduits, EMT, rigid, and IMC, just to name a few. Here at ASC, we primarily use EMT, electrical metallic tubing. We use this conduit to route the wiring that controls our autoclaves. When running or routing conduit on our autoclaves, there are numerous paths, obstacles, start points, and endpoints an employee may have to work through or around. This is where the conduit bender comes in, to bend and manipulate the conduit when routing it from one end to another. Conduit comes in different size diameters, to accommodate this, conduit benders do as well. The most common are one inch, three quarter, and half inch benders. For this video, we will be using our half inch conduit bender made by Klein Tools. You can check out the tool by contacting maintenance. If you don't have one, pause this video and get one now. Let's talk about safety. Anytime you're on the shop floor, a hard hat, safety glasses, ear protection, and safety toed shoes are required. When you are not using the tool, place it on a tool cart, workbench, work table, or return it to the tool room. Also, when handling any cut conduit, make sure to wear cut resistant gloves while deburring and reaming. Let's go over the anatomy of this tool. Keep in mind we are referencing a half inch Klein Tools bender. However, other conduit benders should have similar markings and functions. Here is the handle. At the bottom of the handle, you will notice a flared end. This comes in handy when making slight corrections if you overbend or underbend your conduit. On the handle is a sticker. This sticker is a quick guide for conduit types and conduit sizes and can be used to help calculate offset bends. This is the bender head. At the front of the head is the hook where the tool will grip your conduit and prevent the conduit from moving or twisting when making your bend. This is the foot press. It is used to apply additional leverage for some of your tougher bends. Lastly, attached to the head, there is an angle setter to help assist in quickly and accurately making degree bends. Let's talk about the markings on the head. The head has markings on both sides that indicate the brand of the bender, where it was made, the model number, the size and type of conduit is meant for, locations for starting your bend, the bend degree, the multiplier for degree bends, and how many inches to deduct for 90 degree bends. On the hook, you will see some arrows. The arrows on the front and side of the hook are used to line up your conduit. The arrow on the side is your starting point for most bends. The triangle is the start of your three point saddle bend. The star indicates where to start your bend when doing a back-to-back 90-degree -back bend. This star also indicates the center of a 60-degree bend. On one side of the head, you will see the degree indicators, and on the other side, you will find the multiplier for each degree bend. Let's start with the degree bends. These numbers indicate the degree of bend you would make by bending your conduit parallel to the line shown. This would be a 10-degree bend, this is a 22-degree bend, this is a 30 degree bend, this is a 45 degree bend, and this is a 60 degree bend. 90 degree bends can also be made. However, there is no indicator for these bends. When bending your 90 degree bends, use the foot press to bend the conduit until it is vertically level, using your level to confirm. The multipliers on the other side are used to calculate offset distance. Offset distance is the space between bends and an offset is a pair of bends used to avoid an obstacle, change directions, or end your run into an electrical box or panel. Each degree has a different multiplier. For a 10 degree offset, you will use the 6.0 multiplier. The 22 degree will be a 2.6 multiplier. 30 degree will be a 2.0 multiplier. A 45 degree will be a 1.4 multiplier and a 60 degree will be a 1.2 multiplier. When making your bends, bending the conduit parallel to the line shown is critical. Too much bend or not enough 
can drastically make a difference when routing conduit to a specific point. To make these bends easier, this particular company has created an angle setter that is used to help users quickly and more accurately make bends. To utilize this, take the angle setter, snap it into the location that indicates the bend degree you want, and bend your conduit till it touches the angle setter. Make sure not to overbend. Overbending results in curving your conduit. Lastly, make sure to clip the angle setter back on the head when finished so it doesn't go missing. And that is it. Conduit benders are easy to use and when used properly, produce a clean and consistent bend each time. Again, this video is an introduction to the tool and its anatomy. In our next video, we will teach you how to use the tool efficiently and effectively. Thanks for watching.